Okay, we're doing a twin flame check-in here with the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Um, it's been a good five days, I think. We're going to just go ahead, um, kind of do an extensive check-in because it's been five days. Let's see where both are at. We'll start with um, the Divine Masculine and see what his energies are right now. Oh. Okay. Divine Masculine. See what he's thinking. Well, what, let's see what the divine masculine is thinking, feeling. Maybe they have intentions or actions that they're going to take. We'll take a peek at that. Okay. All right. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Cups. Okay, we're going to go ahead and. Um, clarify. It looks to me like the Divine Masculine is trying to gain balance, but they're still in that overthinking energy. I feel though that the overthinking is, aside from whatever's going on with them, a lot of it is about the memories, the nostalgia that they have, and I feel like maybe lately they've been thinking heavily of their Divine Feminine. Let's go ahead and see what the Two of Pentacles is about. What kind of balance is this that they're trying to achieve balance sometimes this is juggling as well so let's see if your divine masculine is with a karmic partner that might be it as well so let's see you do have the four of wands in reverse though with the nine of cups and the nine of cups is in our our guidance so let's see what that's about getting five cards wow okay all right so this balance the um the dm is trying to find balance in their life right now i feel like let's see let me just adjust my camera okay yeah sorry about that i needed to adjust it, it just i wasn't feeling good about the angle but the divine masculine is trying to find balance um they are juggling. They're juggling some kind of commitment that they're in, also with what seems to be their fulfillment or happiness. They're resisting. Again, they're still resisting, though. Resisting change. Re they're resisting releasing something. They don't want to release something still, so they're still in that energy, unfortunately. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Let's see what the Eight of Swords is about. What is the DM overthinking here? It's got them in their head overthinking. Right? At least they are thinking about some kind of opportunity. <laughs> overthinking plus worry plus stress plus sleepless nights. So they're really going through it. This is not it's not it's not a good time for them yeah bottom of the deck um all this overthinking they are just i feel like yeah this dm their their own worst enemy is himself because of so much overthinking that they do so much worrying that they do but i'm not saying that it's not something that they should you know not be doing or that they shouldn't should just be taking this lightly i just feel that it's just compounded um they want a new opportunity for sure with the df they want a new opportunity and it feels like they want it so badly but they're conflicted and i feel like there's a lot of challenges there's just so much going on in their head so much and i feel that they see the DF doing well, and that makes it even worse for them. The overthinking is also about the, the memories, the nostalgia. I feel like they're going through each and every moment spent with the DF. Maybe they're recreating it in their head, reliving each moment, each second, and it's it makes it harder for them. It makes it harder for them. 
let's see what are they <laughs> yeah they're they're thinking so much about the missed opportunity they're, they're also thinking about how they didn't give as much as the DF to this connection <sighs> possibly they're also thinking about how they left the DF how they rushed out of her life without a word all of this, all of this overthinking, all of these memories, everything, it's just, I feel like it's, it's a lot for the DM to take. They're heavily thinking. They are heavily thinking about the missed opportunity. I think they see that they had multiple opportunities. They saw that the DF kept giving and giving and they just kept running and running. And... Queen of Wands, now they, now they feel that the DF is not going to be welcoming them back or accepting them back. That's a very big possibility. Let's see what's going on with the DF. Um, how is the DF doing? Hmm, what's that about? <laughs> We're going to have to see what that's about. Maybe the DF is focused on work, focused on her money, on her abundance. She's healing also. Yeah, she wants success. She's not focused too much on the connection, I feel. I feel like she's more focused on working, on healing, on being successful at this point. Let's see what the Knight of Pentacles is about because when that drops, I wanted to say that this was the DM, but it didn't feel right. This isn't the DM, and I'm wondering if this is another energy that's coming towards the DM. So let's see. Let's see. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh, okay. I was right. I was right. Oh my god. I wanted to think that this was I wanted to think that this was the the DM. But we see in his energy there in well the DM's energy, no orientation here. Um we see in the DM's energy that, you know, they are wanting, wanting. That's energy, it's not action. This person, there's action. There's somebody heading towards the DF. They may already be in her energy and her presence. But this person is coming in very slowly. They're, they're coming in, though, with an intention to, to offer a commitment, to be with the DF. And, you know, I get the feeling that they might know what the DF has been through or they can sense it about the DF, that she's been through a lot. So they're trying not to come in too strong or hard. They're coming. I, I get this gentle energy of somebody coming in, being slow, being gentle about it. But, you know wanting to offer something very solid very solid so I don't know maybe the DF is feeling that in her energy so we have the three of Pentacles let's see what that's about I get the feeling that that's about working concentrating on something that I feel like they're putting a lot of energy into it. it's either work maybe they have a business but it's yeah it's something that they are really invested in right now Possibly the DF met her DM at work is also what I'm getting here with the King of Pentacles here in the reverse. The DF seems to be in an energy of just, you know, like she is being open towards other people when it comes to collaborating, to working. She just seems very focused in her work. And I think that It's 
very weird energy. She's being resistant to something. She's being resistant to some kind of opportunity that will bring her justice. It's like she feels that she has to wait for the right time. But I don't know how that relates to... It could be that she's also thinking that, you know, in her head she's thinking, I'm going to... When the time comes, maybe I can make this work. It could be the connection with the DM. It could be something else. But her energy is, you know, she's waiting. That's a puzzling energy, sorry. Um, let's go ahead with the temperance. So there is healing going on here for the DF. She's, she's really focused on healing. <laughs> okay. Yep. right so the df is highly focused on healing she's being patient i feel that she's being patient with herself but she's being patient with the people around her also is what i'm getting she is trying to recover from this this energy here she's also trying to recover from this energy of somebody who pulled back their love or you know didn't no longer came towards them which is most likely the DM. She's had to make a decision to start healing, to start giving back love to herself because she couldn't get it from the DM. She, she wants it from the DM, but she knows that she can't get it from the DM. So she's just decided to make the tough decision of focusing on herself, of just trying to heal from the connection from the DM and their actions and that's not to say that the df didn't have any thing that they didn't you know do wrong it's just that you know for her to be okay she needs to heal right and this energy here i get a feeling that this is also related to that being patient kind of telling the df is telling herself i'm it's going to take time but i'm going to work everything out that's what I'm getting. And maybe that's why we have the Six of Wands energy of wanting success within themselves. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's happening with the connection. So we know individually how they're going about. They're, they're on different tracks, honestly. I don't know. They're on different tracks here. Let's see what is the common or the mutual energy for these two. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Eight of Wands. So sometimes this mutual energy, there's, you know, like it's stronger on the DM or the DF side, but we'll, we'll see with the clarifying cards. But both of them are feeling this energy in some shape or form. King of Cups. Okay. The Knight of Swords in reverse. All right. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Um, to me, this talks again about needing to be patient, needing to wait, needing time to see, you know, what can really grow. Because if you look at that, you know, the plant, it's small, but below it is all this abundance. It's just that we're not seeing it. Right? So let's see. <sighs> yeah. Make sense. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is the DM. The DM has put it in their mind that in order to heal this connection, they need to be patient. And I feel like they're trying to convince themselves of this too. They know they have to be patient. It's like a feeling of, I'm doing what's expected, and I'm going to wait for the right time. I'm going to wait. It's not the right time. It's like, I'm going to wait for everything to fall into place. And I feel like with the karmic, they're also just waiting for that to break down. They know that 
they know that this connection with the karmic is not good for them they know it and it's like they're telling themselves if i wait this out this connection will break down and then i'll have my opportunity this is what i'm getting from from that which is weird it's weird um let's see what the eight of wands is what kind of action is this if this is action or communication let's see I feel like it's both I feel like this is both but in different perspectives I'm thinking so for the DM they want to communicate is what I feel they do want to but they don't they don't because they have accepted this energy of having to be patient having to wait at the same time though they're afraid that the DF will walk away that they will be they will lose in the end they will be defeated in the end but it's like this person has the DM, DM has made the decision to to do this, to be in this energy. And it's like, if it's meant for me, it's meant for me. At the same time, though, I think maybe that's why they overthink. They, they've, they've accepted that somehow. They've decided on that, but at the same time, there's just a lot of fear about it. For the DF, I feel that... I feel frustration from the DF that... There is no communication. There is no action. And I think the DF sees it as the DM being lazy, maybe, or being uninterested now. Because no action is being taken towards them, they are in the energy of wanting to just walk away. They are in the energy of kind of accepting that this whole thing has been a lost battle. And it's like they can't win no matter what they do. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. But we do have the King of Cups, so let's see. Why is the King of Cups here? King of Cups is here. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I do see this as the DM also. King of Cups wanting to wanting to be the king of cups wanting to offer love they know that they can they know that they have what it takes to be with the df but a lot of things get in the way they have this confidence this calm about how they know they can love the df the df the way that the df wants to be loved but there's so much pain here and they're working on it. They're working on this. I guess that's what we have here of them trying to work through this, trying to balance themselves here. I think it pains this DM that they weren't able to express themselves. And I feel like this DM also drowns themselves in work. Just to just to balance these two energies out. I think these are the biggest regrets that they have here. That they feel that they betrayed the DF in a way and that they weren't able to express and so they, they, they dive into work. And I think that's how they try to keep themselves okay. Yeah. So. Now we have our guidance. So you could be the DM. You could be the DF. Um, but guidance here is saying that somebody's intuition i feel that this is the dm their intuition is telling them not to rush things not to be drastic yeah yep yep because they know so i guess this is more of a message from the dm to the df that if they know that if they want to eat, to come in correct to offer the right kind of love they need to come back they need to come back right they want to so much. They do. Look at that. Ten of Cups. They want their happiness. They have a fear that they won't be successful in getting it. They have a fear that things have ended. That, that everything is gone. And they're just so deadly afraid of that. They are so deadly. They're just... <laughs> I feel resistance. That if it were true that it ended, they wouldn't accept it anyway. I don't know. 
So they're trying to hold on to the hope of the of a new beginning here. They're trying to be patient, trying to hold on to that hope of the chance for a new beginning. So, yep, yep. They they do lose confidence though that it's ever possible. And so when they when that happens, I feel that they get impulsive. You know, they might they might want to take action, but they stop themselves. They always stop themselves. Yeah. They're confused. I guess they're still confused with everything, with the karmic, with the DF. But they're starting to realize, I think. I think like I feel like they're seeing signs. They're seeing signs about what's going on. And I feel that they've let loose control somehow to allow things to happen the way that they are meant to happen. But you know, they're admiring look at that. They're admiring the DF and how beautiful she is. How abundant she is yeah yeah but they're afraid that you know that this cycle for the DF might have ended already that she does not want a new opportunity anymore that she doesn't want it anymore the the DM is not realizing that the more that they hold on to what they are supposed to release, what no longer serves them, the more that they stay in the tower energy. But I also feel like they are slowly realizing it, slowly learning from this. Again, there's a lot of healing and recovery needed here. I feel both are still healing, still recovering in their own different ways they're doing that. And possibly with their own different ending or um, end goal you know like the df seems to be healing but she's in an energy of working on herself not really it's not that she's not giving space to the dm to come back but i feel that in her mind when she heals she thinks if he comes back he comes back if he doesn't then he doesn't where it seems like the dm is trying to heal so that he can come back so that he can be with the df again yeah, he's you know, he's trying to trying to gain stability, trying to trying to be the person that the DF would want, but fearing that the DF would not be welcoming. They fear a lot of heartbreak because they desire the DF so much, so much. I could go on and on with these cards, but yeah, that's the main sentiment here for the DM and the DF. This is their current energy so i guess a lot a lot has changed from the last time we did a check-in um steady progress i guess but it is yeah like the seven of pentacles it's going to take quite some time for this to have some kind of turnaround and yeah i actually saw that you know it might be another two years for this to come around because of the karmic debt that's not being paid and I feel that that may be because of the delay that the DM is, you know, creating, staying with, you know, the, the karmic and not wanting to move on from that. That creates the delay. Thing is, I don't know if the DF will still be in the same position to be as open. We don't know. We see somebody coming towards the DF. So I get the feeling there's going to be some kind of choice that's going to be made in the future. But yeah, that's what we have for the current energy. Um, I hope this did give you some guys some guidance, some clarity. Till the next one.